You are looking live at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Today, college football returns to the Beagle Sports Network as we bring you the 2022 SEC Championship game. The Georgia Bulldogs taking on the LSU Tigers. Welcome into the broadcast booth here at the home of the Atlanta Falcons. Mercedes-Benz Stadium is packed to the rafters for this conference championship showdown. It's been an amazing year for the Georgia Bulldogs so far. They finished the regular season undefeated, 12 wins, no losses, and they're ranked number one in the, na in the nation. Their chances of participation in the college football playoff are extremely high. The Tigers, on the other hand, finished the season 9-3. Losses to Florida State, Tennessee, and Texas A&M put them into 11th place in the rankings. Today they look to stun the Georgia Bulldogs by winning the SEC title. However, it's not going to be easy. You can cut the tension with a knife here inside the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Without any further ado, let's go down to the field for the coin toss and the kickoff. Here we go with the coin toss. The Bulldogs to select heads or tails. And they're going with heads. They win the toss, and they will elect to receive to start the first half. Here we go, the 2022 SEC Championship about to get underway. The regular season is over. We've got this. We've, we've got this week with the conference championships. We've got the Army-Navy game next week. Then it's bowl season, which includes the college football playoff. And in January, we'll be covering the national championship. Down at the 18 on the return here for Georgia. And here comes the offensive line for the Bulldogs. I imagine there will be a significant bias in the crowd here today. This is taking place in Atlanta, Georgia. Shaw almost gets sacked there, moves through, goes down, second and two. Gain of eight on that play with the quarterback running. And here we go again. There's the snap, Shaw stepping back to pass, fires it away, but it's incomplete. Third and two coming up for the Georgia Bulldogs here at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, the home of the Atlanta Falcons of the NFL. We're happy to have you with us. Looks like Georgia might be thinking big here in terms of passing. Third and two. Shaw steps back, but he gets sacked. LSU anticipated that, and now it's fourth down for the Bulldogs. Right out of the gate, Shaw goes down. And now, Georgia being forced to punt. The Tigers will get the ball for the first time in this game. Fair catch called at the 50. Going to be a good starting point for LSU as their offensive line comes out onto the field for the first time. If you haven't, if you haven't figured it out by now, Tigers in purple and gold and Georgia in white and black. Borgie, almost intercepted, but he couldn't keep his hands on it. Second and 10, no gain on that play, obviously. The Tigers staying at the 50. There's the snap, Borgie steps back to pass. And it's incomplete once again. Third and ten here for LSU. Not a very good offensive start for either team in the early going here. Three minutes per quarter, just like it is in our NFL simulations. Of course, Wednesday night football beginning this week with the Bills and the Patriots. Here we go again. Borgie steps back to pass on third and ten. And once again, it is incomplete. So the Tigers will be forced to punt from the 50. The kicker, the punter coming out onto the field for the first time here for the Tigers. And Galu sends it away. Fair catch called at the 28. 
Here we go. Shaw and the offensive line back out on the field once again, and right away he runs with the ball. Gets taken down after two yards. Second and eight coming up at the 30 for the Bulldogs. Shaw hands off to Smart. Three yards there. It's third and five. Bulldogs hoping for one big play here. I guess five yards isn't really that big, but when you compare it to this drive so far, it'll be big. Shaw looking to pass. Fires it away, and it's caught by Milton. He's taken down immediately, but it gets Georgia past the 50. And it gives them the first down. 27-yard catch there for Eric Mouton. And now an offensive breakthrough possibly for the Bulldogs. There's the snap. Shaw will run it. And holding penalty on Georgia. And Shaw goes down. First and 20 coming up at the 50 for the Bulldogs. That's not going to do him any favors. But as Shaw fires it away, Mouton makes the catch again and gives them the first down at the 25. At the, end of the th at the end of the first quarter, we're scoreless between Georgia and LSU, but as the Bulldogs move up the field, I have a feeling that it won't stay that way for long. Here we go, second quarter, about to get underway. And Georgia at the 25. The snap from Cooper to Shaw. Mouton again with another catch. He's been the standout star here today. So far for the Bulldogs. The hero, if you will, gets them another first down. And now on the 23, they look for a touchdown. Shaw fires it away. Coleman sends it into the end zone. Makes the dive to give Georgia the lead here. 6-0 over LSU. And the celebration dance beginning. He takes a bow to the crowd. They are filling out the Mercedes-Benz Stadium to see the SEC championship game. And now the point after touchdown is good. 7-0 for the Georgia Bulldogs here in the second quarter. The Tigers about to get the ball back for the second time here today. Here comes the kick. And away it goes after a little bit of dead air. My apologies, I didn't really know what else to say. But this will be carried to the 19 for the Tigers. And here we go. Louisiana's offensive line coming out onto the field once again. Hoping to tie things up before halftime. Borgie fires it away. Hamilton did have his hands on it. But as he went down, so did the ball. And it's 2nd and 10 here for LSU. Looks like they're going to go for a pass here. Can Borgie capitalize this time? Steps back to pass. Got a man pursuing him, but he gets it to Jones. And now taken down at the 36. Jones with the catch to give the Tigers the first down. Troy Jones with a 17-yard catch as the two-minute warning kicks in here in the 2022 SEC Championship game. Georgia 7, LSU 0. The Tigers looking to tie it up before we go to halftime. Daniel makes the catch, a six-yard gain on that play. He goes down at the 42, second and four for LSU, and now the timeouts will begin. Tigers using, the first, the, using their first of the half. Second and four on their own 42. Here we go. Borgie steps back to pass. And 
waited a little bit, but he gets it to Vigilant, who goes out of bounds as he is taken down. And at the 38, now LSU attempting to move even further up the field to tie things up before halftime. Borgie with the handoff to Hamilton, and he goes down at the 36, a gain of two on that play, second and eight coming up for the LSU Tigers after this timeout. There's the snap. Borgie steps back to pass. And... Nobody home. A lot of people there, but nobody home. Third and eight. Here at the 36. 127. Here in the second quarter. There's the snap. Borgie hands off to Hamilton, and Hamilton manipulates the fabric of space, time, and reality. Moves past the line of scrimmage, but unfortunately it's not enough to give them the first down. And they're going to attempt a field goal here on fourth and seven. From the 35. 118 to play in the second quarter. And it's a little bit low. They did get it. They barely got it, but they got it. And it's seven to three. Georgia still with the lead, but LSU poised to take the lead in their next possession, which will be after halftime. 113 to play here in the second. What can you do in one minute and 13 seconds? We're about to find out as the Bulldogs get the ball once again. Here's the SEC Championship continues at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We thank you for being with us here today. Away it goes. And taken down at the 22. 109 to play. Here in the second quarter. Shaw leading the offensive line out onto the field once again. And he's taken down right after the snap. Shaw getting sacked here to make it second and 12. A loss of two on that play. Michael Pullman, two tackles and two sacks here in this game. And we've got less than a minute to go in this second quarter. Waiting, still waiting, perhaps running down the clock. They've already got the lead. Really no point in doing anything but kneeling, but there's the handoff to Smart. Third and 11, gain of one on that play. But again, none of it really matters. Georgia seven to three, the lead going into halftime. Less than 10 seconds to go. And I think they're just gonna run out the clock here. Four, three, two and one the score at halftime georgia seven lsu three here in the sec championship game aerial coverage brought to you by google earth and now the kickoff For Georgia, LSU will get the ball once again. It's seven to three after halftime or at halftime. Tigers looking to capitalize on this possession. A touchdown would give them the lead. A field goal would still make it so. A field goal would still put them behind but they'd be one point away from the lead instead of five. Oh, that's a pass. Daniel overcomes the defense, and he's going to go all the way. The 10, the 5, the end zone. Touchdown, LSU, on one of the first plays of the half and one of the first plays of the possession. The Tigers take the lead in the 2022 SEC championship game just like that. And it looks like they're going for two. Why not? A two-point lead 
will not become four. Hamilton unable to get into the end zone. And it's nine to seven. 16 seconds into the second half in the third quarter. And Shaw will arrive once again after this kick. 2.44 to play, 16 seconds, and just like that, LSU with the lead. Away it goes. Right in front of the end zone, good kick there. Taken to the 21 before he goes down, and Shaw will lead the offensive line out onto the field once again. First and 10 for Georgia at the 21. 2.39 to play. There's the snap. Shaw will run it. He goes down at the 29. Second and two coming up for Georgia. Deep in their own end of the field still. We'll see if they can get a big offensive play like we just saw LSU did. LSU do. I don't know what I'm saying. Mooton off the... Uh, I don't know what you call that, but it falls into his hands. And it's first and ten for Georgia at the 41. Shaw will run it himself. Goes down at the 44, a gain of three on that play. But still a long ways to go if they want to score here. Shaw hands off to Smart. And down at the 46. Third and five coming up for the Bulldogs. One more chance to get the first down and keep this possession alive. Perhaps being able to make it in the field goal range. You never know. 10 to nine would give them the lead. Shaw waited too long and he goes down. That's another sack. And it's 4th and 13, and they will definitely be forced to punt here. From the 38, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. It is looking good for the LSU Tigers as they get the ball again. Fair catch called. I believe that was the 26. And 23 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Borgie steps back to pass, and it's caught by Young. Young goes down at the 31, and now just a few seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And at the end of the third quarter, LSU nine, Georgia seven. The Tigers three minutes away from the SEC championship. They'll have the ball going into the fourth. Second and five on their own 31. Really, it's just a matter of holding the ball now. But another score would be welcomed, obviously. Would cement their place as the 2022 SEC champions. We say anything could happen on the Beagle Sports Network, however. We could see Georgia make a comeback here in the fourth quarter. But as time goes on, with every second... It becomes less and less likely. Second and eight at the 39 here for the Tigers. Borgie with the toss to Hamilton. Inside the 40, down at the 45. And the two minute warning kicking in here. Nine to seven, LSU with the lead. Looking to close things out. Close the book on this SEC championship game. And here we go. Georgia calling the first timeout of the half for either team. I think they'll make use of their timeouts. LSU really with no real need to do so unless there is an interception, which could still happen. Hand off to Hamilton. Only gets one yard, second and nine. 
Coming up at the 50. As Georgia call another timeout. The Bulldogs in dire straits here at the SEC Championship. Borgie with the handoff or the toss, sorry to Hamilton. And it's a nasty fall as he's taken down. But he seems to be okay as Georgia used their last timeout. LSU at the 45, third and four, 131 to play. Hamilton can't get through, but I think the Tigers will be in field goal range. Just barely, however. Nope, they're gonna punt. Georgia with one last chance to make a difference. All they need, th all they need are three points. Quinn taken down in the end zone, and that's not good at all. Or is it? I, okay, that is good. That's very good for the Bulldogs. They'll start at the 25. My apologies. I made another mistake. Smart will keep going. Taken down at the 42. But now the Bulldogs starting to regret using all those timeouts. They have none left. All they, what they really need to do now, either go out of bounds or throw Hail Marys. Shaw evades being sacked once again, and he'll go down at the 45, but as time ticks on, I don't think the clock will be on the side of the Georgia Bulldogs. One last play, one last chance in this SEC championship game. 10 seconds. Gotta stop stalling here. Just gotta go for it. Shaw with one last try. Steps back to pass. And he evades being sacked. Mouton with the catch, but it will not be enough. The 2022 SEC champions, the LSU Tigers. That is all here from the, Merce here from the Mercedes Benz Stadium. But we'll go back to the broadcast booth once more to close things out here tonight and to take a look at the upcoming college football schedule here on Beagle Sports, so let's do that now. This is not the end of our college football coverage. The most exciting part of the season is just getting underway. Next Saturday, we'll have the Army-Navy game from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. On Christmas Eve, it's the Hawaii Bowl in Honolulu. Our simulation of the CFP college football playoff semifinals will take place two days before the actual event, Thursday, December 29th. We'll have the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day, and we'll close out the season with the National Championship game, the simulation premiering from SoFi Stadium on Saturday, January 7th, two days in advance, just like the semifinals. Thank you for watching our coverage of the SEC Championship game. We hope to see you in a week at Lincoln Financial Field. But for now, goodbye from the Mercedes-Benz Stadium.